Hello again. The purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate how to convert a 2D drawing into this solid model. Please remember that there's always more than one way to draw anything. My method of drawing with AutoCAD may seem unusual to some, but it has worked for me for the past 20 years, so please stay tuned. What you are looking at now is my 2D drawing and solid model in paper space. The first thing I'll do is erase the large and small viewports. You can see that the drawings disappear from paper space. All that remains are two rectangles which I drew previously to serve as templates for when I redraw the viewports later on. To get into model space, I'll click on the model button. Notice that the drawings still exist in model space even though they were erased in paper space. Now, however, I'll split the screen in model space into two viewports so that there will be room to redraw the solid model on the right-hand side of the screen. I created the two viewports so that you can see the 2D drawing on the left side while I create the solid model on the right. Also, I copied the necessary view from the details that I will need to make the solid. Using a polyline, I'll trace over the large rectangle and move it down below. Then I'll trace over the smaller rectangle on the left and move that down below. And finally, trace over another small rectangle and move that as well. And now I'll move into the southeast isometric view so that I'll be able to extrude each of these rectangles to its proper length. I'm going to extrude the rectangle in the middle to a distance of 0.62 and extrude the rectangle on the right a distance of 0.38. And finally, extrude the rectangle on the left a distance of 0.63. And then move the rectangles into their proper location. Now, with AutoCAD's union command, I'll make all three objects merge into one solid, and then add little color to the drawing. With the solid model completed, two viewports are no longer necessary, so I'll convert back to a single viewport, and then move into the plan or top view. Having finished the solid model, I want to get back to paper space to view the drawings properly and make the drawing ready for printing, so I'll click on the Layout 1 button. As you can see, my template rectangles are still there. Now to create the two viewports, I'll use the MView command and select two diagonal intersections to create the larger and smaller viewport. Then I'll double click inside the smaller viewport, switch to Southeast Isometric View, and pan and zoom to enlarge the solid model. And I'll double click outside the small viewport to get back into paper space. You must remember that when using paper space, the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of one to one, even though individual viewports can be set to different scale. You can set the scale of the large viewport by selecting it and then clicking the properties icon and then moving down to standard scale to set any scale you want say for example half scale once the scale is set you can double click inside the large viewport to gain access and pan so that only the 2d drawing is visible to accomplish this it is sometimes necessary to move the solid now double click outside the large viewport to get back into paper space. 
Finally, if we don't want the large and small rectangles to be printed, we can go to the layer dialog box and freeze the layer where the viewports are located. The drawing is now complete. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want more, please comment on it as I enjoy also because I enjoy hearing from you. Thank you for watching.